Hi and welcome to this little tutorial. Today we are doing the poppy pod flower which is the fourth out of seven flowers designed for the Midsummer's Dream Cal. We are making head wraps for Midsummer's Eve so that is really really fun but if you want to do this as a single flower of course that goes very well too. I just want you to have fun with these ones and they are so adorable. I mean we have ruffles, we have popcorns, we have petals, we have a little pearl down the center and yeah lots of fun color combinations to try out. So all you need to make this poppy pod flower is three colors of yarn. We have used eucalyptus for the base, cream for the flower and then vanilla for the center pearl but you can use any colors you like this is must haves by yarn and colors and we have used it together with a three millimeter hook and all the info can be found on our homepage sistersinstitch.com there is also a downloadable pdf file of the written pattern along with some more information and all the other flowers too So to begin, we start with our color A thread. And for me, this is the gorgeous eucalyptus and do a magic circle. You can also do a chain ring start if you want to, but I prefer this because I think they close neater. And what we will do is to chain one for the height. It's not a stitch, it's just a height. And then we work eight half double crochets in this ring, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There we go. So simply pull your yarn and through your starting end and then do a slip stitch into the first real stitch and not the chain one, okay? like that and now to make life easier i will just fasten this starting end off at the back just working it back and forth a few times so it's not in the way when i'm showing you round number two okay so i'm all happy with that and now we just chain one and make a single crochet in the same stitch and one in each stitch across so we will have eight single crochets in total like that super easy super calm just keep track of those single crochets and there we go one two three four five six seven and eight and then we slip stitch into the first to finish this round off and don't worry if it goes a little bit bobbly on you. It's supposed to do that. It's supposed to cup. And now we chain one and turn it towards us. And here's where it gets a little bit tricky because I'm going to ask you to work in the front loop. And if you have it on the right side, you know this is the front loop and that one is the back loop. The front loop is the one that's facing you. But now as we turn our work, our actual front loop is still here but it's now the back loop so it's a little bit confusing but just look as i do and not as i say okay <laughs> and we're simply going to work in these ones the outer ones that the new back loops that could be the right thing to say so we are simply slip stitching into that one making a half double crochet and chaining one and a half double crochet into the same space and the slip stitch like that okay and then we repeat the same for the next front loop that now is our back loop <laughs> so simply go in slip stitch make a half double crochet chain one half double crochet slip stitch so do that five more times until you have eight and meet me up to close okay good luck so there we go we have now one two three four five six seven eight cuties and to fasten this off you simply cut your yarn pull up the loop thread the needle and fasten off to any place right here i say the second stitch but <laughs> it's easier to just fasten it off and remember this is actually your front side so go ahead and hide the ends down into the cup here Okay, that will be the neatest place to hide them. So there we have it. 
our base petal is done and now we are making gorgeous little popcorn sections and petals and then lastly we will do the pearl okay so grab your color that you are going to use for your flower and let's begin so for round number four we are working popcorn stitches into each of these eight little back loops that we left from round number two when we did the petals here in the front loops so just as you can tell it's these ones that are the lines that go all the way around so choose one of those and grab your yarn i have chosen to use cream this one i think that will be really really lovely i fold down my petals with the thumb like that because then i think it's so much easier to get into these lines so go ahead and do a standing double crochet or slip stitch and chain two to the height of the double crochet okay and then we are making four double crochets into the same space that will be the body of our popcorn like that drop the loop get through the first of the stitches grab the loop and pull it through and chain one to close and this chain stitch is not part of the pattern it's part of the stitch okay so go into the next one and repeat. So you just do four double crochets around the back loop from round two. Like that. Drop the loop, go through the first of the four, grab it, pull through and chain one. So do that for all six left over loops and meet me up to close this round, okay? Have fun. And here it is, we have eight popcorns placed all the way around. And before we close this one, I'm just raising the loop, I'm going to take the time and actually weave in our starting end first because after we have closed this, it will be quite hard to get in there, okay? So to do this the best way, I would actually go down the side, down here, like that, not pulling too tightly. And then just go back and forth in this popcorn base a few times and then I'm done so it doesn't have to be super super secure but we still want it to not unravel on us later on and with that out of the way we can now just close this round with a simple slip stitch down to the center of this popcorn like that and it's so cute already oh this is gonna be so much fun so now we are building a base for our pedal in the next round so yeah let's get going So what we will do now is first chain one to get the proper height and then we are going back down our popcorn grabbing in the yarn and pulling up a loop because we are working at single crochet decrease over the popcorn and the space between the popcorns so just separate them slightly with your finger and you will see exactly where to go we are going around that closing chain space grab the yarn and pull up a loop grab the yarn and pull through all three loops and that is our first single crochet decrease and then we're doing the same here we are going into the center of the popcorn pulling up a loop going between the popcorns make sure that you don't grab any double crochets as you go and pull through so we are adding some fabric because if we were otherwise just doing single crochets in the popcorn we would not have as much covered space here as we get with a single crochet worked two together if you know what i mean <laughs> it will be really pretty so just go ahead and do that for all eight stitches and chain spaces that are in between the popcorns just slow and steady like that and eight like that so as you can tell we have closed up our gap here quite a lot and we have something really fun to work with now so to close this round we simply slip stitch into the very first single crochet which is here and after you have slip stitch just chain one and get ready for round number six so for round number six we are making these lovely four petals that would just be the icing on the cake this popcorn cake it's gonna be fun 
I say that about everything, but I really think this is fun, so <laughs> you'll have to excuse me. So to begin, we have our chain one starting chain that is not a stitch, it's just for the height. And then we're doing a half double crochet into this stitch that we're in. And then a double crochet. And then a treble. Like that. And then we are going back down. So we are doing a double crochet into the same stitch and a half double crochet. Like that. And then we're slip stitching into the next. And then we are doing the same again, the same pedal. So a half double crochet, a double crochet, a treble crochet, yarn over times two and pull through two loops at a time, a double crochet, and a half double crochet, all in the same stitch. There we go. And then slip stitch in the next. So do this two more times and meet me up to close, okay? Oh, it's so cute already. And there we have it, the final slip stitch has been made. Now all that is left is to cut the yarn and join with an invisible join to the second stitch, which I will place in my half double crochet over here. And then weave in the ends in the thickest place you can find, which will be one of the pedal bases here. So do that and meet me up for the final little part, which will be the little bead that we place in here. See you soon. So as you can tell, there is something missing in our little flower. We need a little center to really make it pop and look super finished. So that is what we are going to do. So grab your chosen yarn and let's begin. So for this flower, I have made the choice of going with yellow. I do love a sunshine pop in the center. So we are doing a magic circle and then we are chaining two. And if you have done two of the other flowers from this cal, the butterfly pop or the purple pop flower, you will know exactly what we are doing now. But we are doing 10 double crochets into this magic circle. I'm just going around and around and around here. Nine and 10. Like that like a little sunny fan. So cute. Oh, I really love this flower. It's such a calming one to make, but it's still, it happens a lot. So, so what you will do now, I almost forgot to give you an instruction here, is to slip stitch into the very first of the double crochets. Not the half, not the, not the chain two stitch, but to the first double crochet. And then you cut off about 20 centimeters so you have something to work with and then you fasten off your starting tail before you do anything else because otherwise it will be really really tricky so what i do to get these centers really tight is simply to go around it and just tighten as i go to just pull the stitches together so it really stays shut especially since we are creating a little pearl we want this center to be really secure and not go anywhere. We don't want it to get. And then we take our end tail, our long end tail, and we are going through the back loops. You know, this is the front loop, that is the back loop. We're just going under each back loop from the center back to the back and just go all the way around. So you will do this 10 times. I always do one in the very first I did to close, so actually we will do this 11 times. But you don't have to keep count, you will notice when you get to the end. So as you can tell, it the thread just lines itself very lovely around your little circle. And when we pull on this, magic happens. So what you will do, you have gone all the way around, you simply Put your finger into the center and pull slightly here, like that. And just shaping it a little bit with your fingers and you have a little ball. Super, super cute. So what I'll do is just go through it two times to make sure that it stays in place, like that. And then I go back up the center. So, because I want it to, to go right down the center of the flower. 
and be placed in the middle. So grab your little flower now and simply put it back down the center like that and just pull it into place. Boop. Ah, so cute. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, I love this. This, this is uh, such a fun thing every time. I, I don't know how many times I have done this this week, but I still think it's really, really lovely. So what I will do now, since this will be staying in a cup, I'm just going to secure it a few times on the back, uh, hiding it here. And I will attach this to a headband. So if it shows a little bit on the back, it doesn't matter. And for whatever you use it, I hope you will have a lot, lots and lots of fun with it. And here we have her, our poppy pod flower is finished. She's all textured or adorable. We have popcorns, we have ruffle endings, we have little petals coming up and a little pearl inside. What more can one ask for, right? Absolutely stunning. So I'm really, really happy to join her to our Midsummer Stream Cal set. I have seven flowers to pick for Midsummer's. And yeah, play around with the colors, see which ones you like. You will need to make two of these for the cowl and then we attach them to the headbands. So, oh, so much fun. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you're having a really, really fun time with us here at Sisters in Switch in the midsummer week. So if you like this, please give us a thumbs up, leave a little comment below and turn the notifications on, subscribe to our channel and you know, check out the homepage. We have the downloadable free panels there. And yeah, lots and lots of crochet fun. So until next time, see you later. Bye.